and I feel fabulous. <laughs> this outfit is so good. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm sitting if you're new here. We went to Colorado from Tuesday to Sunday. If you didn't see my last vlog, we just got back last night and today was kind of a get my life together day, I'd say. And we just went to Publix to get some cookie mix, or not cookie mix, we got cake mix and we also got some Sweet Lorenz cookies. We were like, which one do we wanna do? Do we wanna bake a cake tonight? or do we want to make cookies? So we're making cookies. I think we got a little uh, used to having cake every single night because Jay got some cake for my 1 million on TikTok uh, celebration. So we were having cake every night until we went to Colorado. And now we just want a little sweet treat. So we got some cookies from Publix and I'm just putting away some clothes right now. I wanted to start off another vlog and say welcome back and happy Monday. Also, we've got Valentine's Day things going on around this house. Got these little hand towels. Ooh, that smells so good. They're looking good too. They're looking just about done. I might take them out a little early, honestly. Maybe in like one more minute. Oh, those look delicious. Can you even see it? There we go. Over here in our entryway area have this heart. We're just in a Valentine's Day mood over here. By we, I mean me. I'm not sure that Jay has joined in on the Valentine's Day decor with me, but maybe he'll get on train, on the, on the Valentine's Day train. And then have this candle, which I think I could leave this out year round, honestly. I don't think, I don't know, I never wanna burn candles that look that cute, but I think it looks subtle enough with those books. I don't know about leaving out the heart year round, but for like January and February for Valentine's Day vibe, for sure. Over here, I have a little EXO pillow and a heart pillow and got this throw blanket, just what we need, another throw blanket, right? And it is the softest throw blanket ever on one side and then the other side is like a knit feeling. And this is from Pottery Barn. I love it. It's just such a mood, it's such a vibe. I'm like so into pink and Valentine's Day. I know this is red, but into hearts and Valentine's Day vibe. I really wanna get my nails done with, I already have them done. I don't know if they're due for another fill quite yet, but get some little hearts on there, I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> they look delicious. Oh, they smell amazing. Right? Good morning, guys. All bundled up in the house right now while it warms up. Turn the heat on. We've been turning the heat off at nighttime because it's pretty, like, we like it pretty chilly, but it got down to like 64 in our house. So I woke up reason this morning i'm about to get ready for the gym and we have an upper body day today so i'm excited to get back to the actual gym and get a workout in all right headed into the gym right now i am doing my chest shoulders and triceps workout and this is from my phase two of my four week program and we are doing doo -doo -doo. we've got Banded chest press, banded pull-aparts, seated front raises, chest press, skull crushers, overhead press, cable or machine delt fly, and then we have cable tricep extension and tricep dip, then some core, and then some cardio. What a workout. That is gonna kick my butt because it's been a sec since I've been into an actual gym. I did do some workouts while I was in Colorado and I'm pretty proud of myself for how consistent I've been. But I will say one thing is that when you're snowboarding, your body is like so sore, so worn out. So I didn't do my lower body workouts. I just did some light upper body workouts to still get some consistency with that. But the last couple days, I think the last three days, I didn't do any workout because snowboarding's a workout, okay? So it's gonna be 
it's gonna be a good one for sure about to get on a call right now. It's about 2.30. I went to the gym, came back, made a smoothie, and have just been doing some computer work. So I'm gonna jump on this call. It's probably gonna be about 45 minutes or so. It's with my manager and also Like to Know It, which is who I use for a lot of my links. If you guys ever go on to my Like to Know It, it has like all my different outfits, home stuff, and all the links for it. So. We're just going over a call, kind of like a team call to talk about 2023, talk about 2024, and kind of just have a game plan for everything, anything that I can improve on for like to know it. So just showing you a little bit of like the behind the scenes for uh, some different things like that. I know that it's kind of confusing because different brands, like I'll work with brands through like to know it, if that makes sense. So they're kind of like the middleman or like the channel for working with a lot of brands for um, Lululemon, for example. So that's what we're gonna go over and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I know I haven't been uh, showing you guys much today just because it's been a whole lot of this right here. Um, any videos you have like TikToks or like try on hauls or if you're doing stories, if you're posting those on your LTK, I see a lot of people that will just like screenshot. Had to break out the co-ed basketball sweatshirt because we're going to play some basketball. <laughs> she is a basketball player, clearly. When we played in Cancun, we got a basketball and we were like, oh, we're gonna play all the time and we've yet to play. So today, we've been saying for the last couple of days we need to. So today, we're going out to our little neighborhood basketball court. <laughs> See your dunk. Not bad. That scared you. No, it didn't. Will she win or lose? H O H O R S. H O to H O R S. This is game point. This is game point. If she misses this, I win. As you can see, she's a little bit behind the free throw. Let's see it. <laughs> you did good though, babe. Let's play again. I lost by a landslide. Okay, let's play pig. Pig? Yeah. I've never heard of pig. It's the same as horse, but pig. Yeah, I know. But... And let's do it all left-handed. Okay, that's going to be long. Yeah, but that's why it's pig instead of horse. <laughs> we might as well play Expialidocious. Expialidocious? Yeah, how do you say that? Stop stalling and get ready to get your butt kicked. How do you I'm say that? How do you say Espialidocious? Something like that. Is that what it is? I don't know. She's a co-ed basketball player. She's a ball player. We're on the last episode of the ultimatum and we're obsessed. Also the best snack, deli, turkey, these crackers and some hummus. Oh. This is my favorite body wash right now. It smells so dang good. It gives me, it makes sense because it has Fantel in it. It reminds me of like the one hotel vibe.
good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm about to head into the gym and get a little workout in. Today we have quads and calves, my least favorite day of the week. But we're gonna get a workout in and then after that head home, get around and go do my hair appointment. I'm so excited. I'm getting my hair done today. I actually have no clue what we really are doing because, well, we're for sure gonna move up my extensions. Uh, but my extensions are the same length as my real hair right now. So I don't really know exactly what we're gonna do with that. I think when they move them up, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than my hair. Also, are we gonna do hair color because we have been transitioning into my natural hair color, so there's really not much to do. Uh, normally, this would be the appointment that we do a full foil, and I don't think we're doing that because I'm staying this darker color for right now. Just my natural, and it's been so nice that I don't just have like a strip of my natural color and then bright blonde. I didn't even feel like I was in desperate need of a hair appointment other than my extensions. And a lot of people are like, okay, what are you thinking about extensions long term? You guys know me. I'm just kind of, we're just rolling with it. I love them. I think they make my hair a little bit thicker. I don't necessarily think that I need them for length. I sometimes will do them a little bit longer for length, but I like them to have a little bit of thickness. My hair is pretty thick, but once you have hair extensions, you realize like, it's nice having a big old chunky ponytail like my pony would definitely look a little bit more i don't know wimpy compared to this <laughs> getting gas right now and I recorded a lot of my workout for TikTok on my phone. So I didn't record much on my camera, but I just get a lot of TikTok comments, not really on my YouTube because I feel like you guys know me pretty well about going to a commercial gym when I have a home gym. I literally will not leave the house all day long if I don't leave for the gym some days. So it is really nice to just get out of the house. I'm sure you guys understand. If you work from home, you can go a little stir crazy. I'm like, I need to be around humans and actually get out of the house. So it felt good to get in a workout, but I am still starting to get like more comfortable being in a gym. You know what I mean? Like I was so comfortable and I kind of have a little bit of gym anxiety. I don't really know where that came from because I used to work out of the gym consistently, but I'm, I'm working on getting over that. Ignore that I have not made the bed yet today, but here's my outfit for today. It's this Adenola sweater and then my flared, mini flares from Lululemon. I am so impressed with this sweater. It's like a thick, super cute, but it also feels as comfortable as a crew neck. I think that this might be one of my new favorite sweater slash loungewear type outfits. Just left my hair appointment and I feel fabulous. I think I feel even more so fabulous that it was only like an hour and a half, two hour appointment instead of being like a six hour appointment because I didn't get any color. We've gone back pretty much to my natural hair color. So I have these baby lights right here. But other than that, it's my natural grow out. So normally I'd have this like crazy stripe down the middle of where I had grow out. But right now it's just looking like I don't even need hair color. So all we did was a move up. We didn't even cut my hair at all. I didn't even need a trim. So I think it's another eight weeks from now. Maybe it, I think it might even be like six weeks out. Um, we can do my money pieces up here so that, cause these are obviously growing out a little bit but you don't wanna like fry off your front pieces. So we'll do the money pieces and then also probably do a cut. And I'm down for a partial, so maybe if we wanna put some baby lights in here. But right now, I'm just loving how my hair is looking. It's also so nice out. It's 68 degrees right now and I think that we need to go on a walk. We played basketball yesterday and it was so nice to just get outside and get some fresh air. So I'm hoping he either wants to go on a walk with me or we can go play basketball again. This is Libby's collection. I'm putting away some clothes right now, so we've got a lot going on. But this is from Libby's Gymshark collection and it's her all-in-one little jumpsuit. 
I love this. I think that this looks so cute on. This is a size small on me. I actually have nothing from Gymshark, so this was kind of a, a fun surprise from Miss Lib. I think it says a bad day is still luxury on the back because that's what she has on all of her stuff. Yep, that's exactly what it says. Okay, I know I said that I'm not traveling again, but I'm actually going to ask them for a round trip this weekend. Uh, well, it's Sunday, I leave for that. So I need to get my outfits together. Tomorrow's Thursday, so the days are dwindling. I have had this dress and have had these boots. I just have never tried pairing them together and I've never known exactly how I'd want to style this dress. I think that I really like this. I went to one dinner before, but it was when it was a little bit warmer out and this will be something I need to wear a, or a jacket with on top of that. So. Still need to kind of complete this look, but I love, I think this is so flattering. Here's another fit idea I had for the trip, but I am not really sure if I love this skirt with it. Do I need to do a lighter skirt and do like a monochrome light look, or do we think that this gives it a little bit of dimension? This is a skirt I have from Maurizia and I have this like long sleeve ribbed shirt on underneath to bring in the cream. And then obviously my boots are cream and I just would wear some sheer tights. Not the black ones, I would wear like the nude ones that match my skin color. My dad gave me all this stuff from our old house, all these photos and scrapbooks and yearbooks and everything. So I'm just going through all of it right now. And you guys know that I got this photo organizer to start printing out my photos. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can start organizing some of these older ones. Like I can do my baby ones in one and then kind of like this young age elementary school in one and start organizing some of these because how fun is this to go through? Also, this is crazy to look at. Jay was like, wow, that's an airplane. And it really is kind of crazy how old that looks because that's from when i don't know 2002 maybe 2003. oh my gosh that haircut it's so fun to look back at some of these photos the banana boat have you ever been on one of those jay you haven't have you what's that a banana boat no hmm oh my gosh i was just telling you this <laughs> oh my gosh that's so bad look at that picture closely i had I'm oh, corn roast. <laughs> this is from the Dominican Republic. Oh my gosh. Isn't that funny, Jay? I was just telling you that. Oh, my mom looks so cute. Too fun. so impressed with how many photos you can fit into each one of these. I thought that this was going to take up, I didn't even think that I could fit all of them in this round. I thought that I was going to have to get another one just for all of these older photos. This was so much fun to look through all of these. My parents have saved so many things like this was my bike safety where you did a bike inspection. It has my photo on the back. I guess I could show you guys. Look at that. May 3rd sponsored by State Farm. Can you guys see it? But if you have so many printed photos and they have just been like scattered in boxes and in containers, I totally recommend this. I just got it off of Amazon and I think this is gonna be so good and you can even label them. I got a label maker to do that as well. Also the fact that I still have all of my yearbooks and everything, my parents have done just such a great job with keeping everything for us and it's just so much fun. It's one of my favorite things to do is to look back at childhood stuff. Like, look at this, how adorable. We've got this of me and my sister. This is one of my favorite photos. It says, let's play ball. And it's my sister and I in, I think they're both my dad's jerseys maybe from baseball. And he would have these hung up in our basement. And he had like a little old, older, locker type look in the basement. It was a full basement of baseball stuff. So kind of cool that this was 
my sister and I's photos. I think it'd be fun to recreate. Oh my gosh, look at this. Senior Star Awards. Too flipping funny. I got best dressed, look at it. Best dressed. Also, do you guys see this short brown hair? Crazy. Jay, what started our nightly sweet treat? I don't know, but like it needs to go away because I feel like every night I get a treat now. I know what started it. What? The cake. Yep. Getting the cake for the one mil started the sweet treat train. Tonight, we're doing Sweet Lorenz cookies. And we're watching a movie together. It's been our go-to. We'll have a little treat, watch a movie or a show. We watched all of the Ultimatum in a sickingly, sickingly short time. We started it when we were in Colorado, but those are short episodes, okay? Now we're watching, it's called, what is that show called, or that movie called? Nyad. 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 It's about a 60 year old who swam from Cuba to Florida or Florida to Cuba. So when she was 28, she's a marathon swimmer. When she was 28, her final marathon swimming attempt was going from Cuba to the Keys, I think which is like 100 miles, which is 60 hours of swimming, nonstop. She failed at 28, but now she's 60 years old. So 32 years later, she has this kick again and she's- After going 30 years of not swimming. Yep, and she's going after it again. So, and it's based on like true events. Just right, so I feel like it's gonna happen. Like I feel like she's gonna do it. Yeah, which is, you know, I love stuff like that. I almost yeah. said, shit. I love stuff like that. It literally like fires me up. Cause like you can do like anything. You can do anything. You can anything. Too. Like she's going to do no, this I know. She's and it's going to be 10 me. PM at night and it's literally going to fire me up and I'm going to go, I'm going to want to go run a thousand miles. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brain work. <laughs> no, I know she's motivating me too. Guess what's preheated. Time for some cooks. Cookie time. Let them sit for long enough that I think they're finally not so soft that they won't break apart just by picking them up. Sweet Lorenz cookies are the best. Good morning. It's 6.10 right now. Just waking up. But good morning and happy Thursday. Here's my outfit for today. It's from Vitality. It's just this deep purple. It's February 1st. We're gonna wear purples and pinks and reds for Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm such a wimp. It's not even funny. It's 47 degrees, but I am frigid. I'm frigid. I put a sweatsuit on over my outfit for the gym. <gasps> I have like the most cold, I'm just cold natured. I don't know if that makes sense, but I have a really hard time warming up ever. And I've always been like that. I feel like the second I get cold, I'm like my body will not regulate heat quickly at all. 47 degrees, maybe my blood has thinned since moving to Alabama. 
Like, how did I survive living in Michigan? How? For 19 years of my life, I am heading to the gym. 44 degrees right now. Also, look at I got this uh, workout wedding band. I can't wear my engagement ring, so whenever I'm in there, I'm like, it doesn't feel right that I don't have a ring on. And it didn't really matter when I would work out at home. And then when I would go do workout classes, like if I'm doing Pilates or spin, I can wear my engagement ring. Um, but when I go to the actual gym, I don't want to lift with it, which I really wish that I could. There's like those little things that just go over your engagement ring and I'm sure that'd be fine. But I feel like I knock it on everything. I just, I don't know. I worry wearing my engagement ring to the gym, but Okay, I'm stalling. I'm stalling before we go work out. Let's see what we've got going on today. Also, Jay taught me I need to let my car warm up. I never do that. Not even warm up so that you um, don't feel frigid in here. It's you warm, let it warm up so that, hmm, hmm, what is it that <laughs> happens to your car? I guess it just lets the engine warm. I don't know if I'm supposed to look at something over here on my dash to know if it's warm or not. But he always says that, let your car sit there for a second running before you drive out. Today we have back and biceps. Whew, okay, let's do it. Let's head to the gym. I do love back and biceps. It's better than a leg day. Okay, workout complete. Back and bys took me about an hour and a half. I actually recorded it for TikTok, so you can follow me on TikTok to get more. I've been really consistent this week with workout videos, and I wanna have different content on each platform so you don't feel like you guys are seeing the exact same thing over and over again, because a lot of times I show so much on YouTube, so let me know what you guys are thinking about more of like the week in my life rather than days in my life and very in-depth because a lot of times I'm thinking I'm sharing the same thing for people who are following me on all platforms. So I, of course, will still show some of my workouts on here as well. I just don't want my vlogs to be fully workouts and all of the stuff that you guys already see on other platforms. But anyways, I recorded for TikTok, which I'm still like getting a little nervous having my tripod out there, but that's okay. I make sure to be pretty careful of like if anyone's behind me or try to make sure that I'm kind of like in a spot that I'm not in anyone's way. At the end of the day, it's crunch. So other people are even recording in there and I'm like, whatever, it'll be fine. People are fine. Um, if someone definitely has a problem, I would have no problem like moving my tripod or making sure that I am not recording by them. But regardless, I'm still getting a little comfortable doing that. Once again, I was just saying that I was so used to being in my home gym that feels weird like recording in public and stuff which I've done this for so long and it always has felt weird I'm just like hey act like you're supposed to be here be confident in whatever the heck you're doing and it'll be fine I'm sure no one else is really thinking about it as much as I am thinking about it I'm starving Marvin I'm gonna head home and get something to eat and kind of a busy day today I've got some errands to run I need to go to the bank at some point I've been putting that one off and then also need to or I'd like to get all my stuff around for my 1 million giveaway on TikTok. And I have a dinner tonight for my friend Steph's birthday. Also have some work to do in the meantime. I have a wedding planning call um, before that. I have a management call I have before that about our brand trip. And I'm trying to think what else. I've got some random little brand deals that I need to record, campaigns I need to record. And that's about it but I will see you guys when I get home. I just bought Jay a spray tanning certification class. <laughs> As a funny joke, 25 bucks, cause they had a 79% off code. It was me 120 bucks. I'm like, that's kind of an expensive joke, but 25 bucks, I can do that. So it says spray tanning certification, emailed to him uh, from New Skills Academy. I can't wait to see what he says. I want to like print it out or something or have him actually take the course or I'll take the course and have him like have an actual printed out certification. 
Oh, maybe it's not funny to anyone else, but I think I'm funny. Some home updates today. We have new shelves in the entryway area. I am so excited to put all different photos and different little knickknacks on here. And also got a bed made. Okay, so wait, how? Just have to put that piece in. Oh, okay, amazing. Are we just gonna have to flip this? Yeah, we're gonna have to put it right there. I was planning on having it right here and then having a little nightstand right here and having enough room to use the mirror. There, there. Perfect, that works. Now slide your room. Perfect, that's a bit better, right? Stay right there. Okay. Oh. You can still move the rug when it's done. Dude, this is so cute. Yay, that's exactly what I wanted. Wow. This is gonna be so cute in here. We're gonna have to do curtains ourselves in here. We're not doing the custom drapes in here. <laughs> It'll be $74,950. I know. And 72 cents. For the guest room. <laughs> we also have a bare mattress for this room, which we've actually had in here for a bit, just waiting to get to put it in here because we had not built this, but this is so cool because it has a storage thing underneath it, which is good for the guest room because we can store like extra bedding and whatnot in here. And I got this from Amazon. You need the scissors? Um, yeah. Isn't this outfit nice too? <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh. Here. Could you imagine if that mirror just shattered? <laughs> and pillowcases or pillows in here. This thing's freaking backwards. Upside down, backwards, turned around. I just need you to grab the plastic bag. Wait, how are you doing this? Are you bringing it that way or what? We just need to kick your side out. Wait, I want to like sleep out here. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. I thought we were going the opposite way. <sighs> wow. Ready for guests. Wow. Okay, so that shows you how you store everything underneath. It's still super easy too. Here is the mattress protector that we got and then also got a sheet set. I'm getting ready for dinner right now to go for a girl's dinner, for a birthday dinner. Look at Jay just wants to hang out. <laughs> you just told me to come in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I told him to come hang out with me. Well, you must have wanted to because you're here. Good Just quality time, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. I don't have a ton of time. I don't really need to do much with my hair because I just got a blowout yesterday at my appointment. So I might throw a couple curls in it or I might just leave it like this. I haven't decided. But first, let's get this makeup done. I don't know why I like this face spray so much. It's just like this Evian spray, but I love how it feels in my face before I do any makeup. It just feels like it hydrates it a little bit. This is the Rare Beauty Primer, Illuminating Primer. And I use quite a lot of this stuff. Next up, we have the Giorgio Armani in 
Weightless Matte Foundation. This is probably a little dark for me right now because I'm in need of a spray tan. Wait, Jay, what are we about to do about the spray tans now that that's the guest room? Guess they're out of business. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are we going to do with the garage? See what for the garage. I think I'm going to take care of those boxes. Is that what you're doing right now? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully this blends enough. So I don't know exactly how many girls we have going tonight. I think it's like nine of us. Nine of us, maybe. Super excited. It's to celebrate Steph's birthday a little late because she was out of town for Christmas and that was over her, she was out of town for like a week after Christmas, I think, and that was over her birthday and we just have not gotten around for everyone to be in town. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in 4.5. I really like this stuff, I'm actually almost out. Then we have Sunkissed by Nude Sticks. And I normally do it like that. And this stuff, a little goes a long way and I still do kind of a lot. And I kind of bring my blush kind of towards my eyelid just to kind of pull it all together. I don't know if you need to be taking makeup advice from me, but I've been liking how my makeup's been looking lately. Still been loving this Lawless foundation, or this is the bronzer. What's this right here? Oh, the airbrush finisher. I think I might put a little bit of that on underneath my eyes. And then we have the bronzer by Lawless in Summer Skin Blazed. And a little of this goes a long way as well. I want to be bronze it, baby. This is also a bronzer. It's by Hourglass. Radiant Bronze Light. And I'm just bringing a little bit of that onto my eyelids. I feel like I need some lips on sooner than later. So, Maracuja Lip Liner. And then this lip oil from Sue, Zhu, whatever. I've already shown you guys this stuff. Looks really good. In my humble opinion. All we have left are my eyebrows and I'm just gonna do Arch Soft Brunette by Hourglass. Gonna do a little bit of dry shampoo just to give this a little fluff. Okay, here's the outfit. I'm going back and forth on which purse I'm thinking. I'm gonna do the printed one. This one's from Amazon. This one I got from Revolve, but I'm going back and forth. I'm like, I think I need something other than just a plain black outfit. This kind of adds some pizzazz to it. And I just think that this dress is so fun. I've been wanting to have something to wear it for, and I haven't worn it yet. So I've had it for a couple months now. I was going to bring it on a couple vacations, but it kind of gives me more of a dinner, nice date night out rather than going on vacation. So I'm really excited to wear it tonight for Steph's birthday. And I don't know what everyone else's vibe is, but they said that they're going a little bit more dressy. Like my girls, they, if they're gonna say dressy, they're probably showing up even more dressy than this, honestly. So we already, I already put my lip gloss and my lipstick, or my lip gloss and my um, lip liner in here. Just need to switch over my wallet and such. Good morning, guys. Happy casual Friday. Headed to get some matcha and some coffee with my dad and his girlfriend. Oh my gosh, that was so
so much fun. We played pickleball for so long. <laughs> and it is such perfect weather. It's 72 and sunny. There is not a more perfect temperature than that. I am headed home. I'm gonna shower, get around, and Jay and I have our Friday night date night tonight. So we're going to get some pasta. We always like to do pasta on Friday nights. I did break my nail out there playing pickleball and I am not happy about it. I don't even think I got any clips of me playing pickleball. I just got out of everyone else, but don't you, don't you mistaken the fact that I was out there playing hard enough to break a dang nail. So I'm definitely gonna have to get my nails done tomorrow because uh, I leave on Sunday and we're not going with no crazy nails. I will see you guys when I get home and we get ready for dinner. I am so excited for some pasta tonight. I have been looking forward to this because we have not been in town for a Friday, what, the last couple weeks? So I'm ready. I'm ready. Vlog? The vlog. You said vlog. The vlog? Vlog, vlog. Vlog posts. Not trying to get Why? So, you. yeah. Do what? you know the reasoning? Like, so it was blog. Video blog. Video blog. What does the log, L O G, stand for? Video blog, vlog. A blog. Do you know what a blog is? Uh, I know what a blog is, but like, what's the. What's the definition of a blog? Where people write stories and stuff on there. I'm, I'm just guessing. So a vlog is where you... A blog is like an online where you type on it and stuff. Where... Right. Subscribe to my blog. Yeah, I have a blog. Yeah. I subscribe to it. Okay. So video blog. What a, blog. What a video blog. So I got a haircut, bro. And I shaved his stash. And shaved his stash. Honestly, it's just miscommunication between me You can me still look at the, at the... <laughs> it's alright. It's just miscommunication between me and my barber. Um, so, next <laughs> week we'll be on cue and we won't have any, you know, mental errors. You're gonna have yet. a mustache by next so, week? Yeah, we'll bring wow. it back. We'll have it for... I just didn't let him know, like, he... I just got... We all lined it up. And he did it a little know too thin. that I wanted it thick lined up so you made it a little bit too thin for my liking yeah so we had to get it get her up out of there we had to fix it up a little we're headed to go get our dinner right now i got so dressed up do you guys love my outfit of the night all they're gonna hear is my tires i know it's so loud in here but we'll see you guys when we get there i got some meat sauce on my is this rigatoni is that what it's called i think so chicken parm Sick and naughty nose. Dang, last time I got the rigatoni. You have regrets? Oh, when I was gone, you did? Yes. So, at the location where we had dinner, there were little stands out front that had this brittle, and we got the pecan brittle clusters. Clearly, I've already made a dent on it. It was my appetizer and dessert. We also stopped and got sweet Lorenz, so clearly have a little bit of a sweet treat but got a couple things in. So this is one of my favorite, actually it is my favorite cup right now, the Era Cup. It's what I have right here. And I wash it just to use it again. It has a squishy straw. How fun is this color right here? I'm obsessed with it. It's a 40 ounce tumbler. And then this water bottle is the kind that has the twist top to open up the straw, which I really like. And I chose this multicolor peach or like a, a light pink a peach and a blue i think this is so stinking cute i love like the different like the multi-colored ones okay i'm trying on outfits to try and figure out what the heck i'm gonna wear for this brunch with my family it's at 11 15 so i need to kind of get on it but I have no clue what I'm gonna wear. I think this is like a little too boring. I was gonna try and figure out a coat to go over top, but let's try the next option. Here's another option. We've got this sweater skirt set and then a brown, it's like a deep brown purse. And I just have on these, they're almost like cowgirl heel type vibe. And I don't know if it's like the perfect pair of boots for this outfit, but I love, this purse with this. So I'm gonna try and pull these together. I think once my hair and makeup is done, I'm gonna feel a lot better with it. Right now I'm feeling feeling pale, feeling not the hottest, but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. 
Okay, I decided on these hoop earrings right here and the sweater dress outfit or the sweater skirt outfit and I'm wearing some like brown reddish boots with it and my brown purse right here. So headed to Answan and kind of running, not late, but my family's always so early, so I feel late. <laughs> Like donuts. It's a donut. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's a donut. Hey. <laughs> he says cheese puff, no donut. Little do you know. <laughs> Here's the singlet <laughs> that I got from Maritzia. I love it. I think it's actually a super flattering one piece. And I'm thinking this might be my outfit for the airplane tomorrow. And I realize that is not smart for me to wear a singlet on the airplane. So I might come back with regrets, but because if I have to pee, that's gonna be rather annoying. So maybe I should just wear regular leggings with this right here. Yeah, I probably should. And then I could save this to just wear the jacket or what I could do, hmm, wear like a little uh, cardigan right here. Cause this y'all, this could be kind of a vibe. What do we think? I don't know. I just love this like singlet thing that I just want to wear it. I'm definitely bringing this jacket, but I wouldn't want to like keep this jacket on. But I think I might just use this as one of my fits for when I'm actually there. Yeah, that's kind of a vibe. You're freaking kidding me. You're kidding me with this outfit. Oh, freaking heck yes. This outfit is so good. It doesn't even... It, it doesn't even make sense how good this outfit is. No, I'm so excited to wear this. It's not even funny. I'm thinking I do this Amazon purse with it. Hopefully this background's not stressing you out. Just ignore that, okay? We'll just zoom in, act like it's so clean in here. That, I think that's pretty good. Why does a purse just like mess up this outfit no matter what? Uh, because underneath this is, no, that's gonna look perfect with that too. This outfit is so good. How many times can I say that? Trying this shirt on while marinating in spray tan is risky business, but I probably could have gone down a size, honestly. I still think that it looks good on, and I still think that I'm going to bring it. Uh, it's like a little corset type top right here, and I just think that I could probably do a size smaller. And this is by Aster the Label that I got at Nordstrom today. I have it on just with a pair of jeans and these white boots or cream boots. I think this could work as just an optional outfit for like going out and we've got like a couple different events. So I don't know. I just need a jacket to wear with this though. A little pizza break while uh, I'm packing. Oh, oh, wow. That looks delicious. It's so good. Yum. Went to Blaze and I got gluten-free bread or gluten-free pizza crust and then did sauce, some mozzarella, some ham, tomatoes, arugula, balsamic, delish. Jay basically did a meat lover's vibe. He uh, did a build your own for two of them, but let's dig in. I should've got an extra cheese or something. Mmm. Okay, now we try and get everything into the suitcases. Black leather shorts. My brown dress. Black sweater. This long sleeve for the cream outfit. These denim forum jeans. See like how to pack 
when you have jackets that take up the whole thing, it's what kind of worries me. My little corset top. My pink skim set. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, packing is pretty much complete. I just have my last couple things that I will need to pack in the morning, but I'm gonna take a shower and start winding down. Uh, it's about nine o'clock right now, and I gotta be up at five at the latest, honestly, because I need to be to the airport at six. Oh gosh, I might need to wake up even earlier than that, but I will see you guys in my next vlog. Next one's gonna be super fun. I'm going to Aspen with Sol de Janeiro, which that is who I just was in St. Lucia with. So this one's gonna be a little bit different though because there are, I think it's 44 girls going on this one. And a lot of people that I've followed on social media for a long time and have never met in person. Some girls that I absolutely love and know in person. And Gretchen's going, which that's super exciting. Larissa, Talitha, Sam, Peyton, who I was all, I was with all of them in St. Lucia and a couple of them in Hawaii as well. So I am super excited for that. I absolutely love those girlies, but I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching this week in my life and I'll see y'all then. Love y'all.